Hello, beloved, beloved. This is your favorite Reverend Henry Sam on the channel of theology in layman's term. Oh, what I'm about to share with you, I'm so excited. I'm so excited about this. Uh, that I'll be sharing with you a couple of, who knows how long it's going to take me. Uh, stay tuned. Look, this is the Bible software that I use. Yes, I'm sharing with you how I study, how I get my materials, and this is free, you know. And, uh, and, and, and so this is for, I'll say, uh, on this very first segment, I'll just give you an introduction. This is going to be for ministers, okay, pastors, bishops, uh, Sunday school teachers, deacons and deaconesses, and uh, everybody who is interested in uh, developing himself in the, in the word of God. So this is a software I've been using many years, and I want to share this with you. Uh, I, one reason uh, also why I want to share this with you is, you know, in today's day and age, if you are familiar with some of these digital uh, materials, it, it, it makes uh, your preparation very easy. You have more time uh, to spend in prayer. And so, you know, in the beginning, whenever I want to study, I have all these hard copies. I have to open the real um, um, dictionary. Then I have my Bible dictionary. Then I'll have one for Bible imagery and, you know, and, uh, uh, and all of that. Then I'll have probably multiple Bible translations. But with this software that you are seeing on the screen, which is known as eSword, today I'm just going to give you an introduction. It's known as eSword. And um, when you first, and this is free Bible software, okay? And when you first, you, you have to download this first, uh, it comes with. Um, the old King James version, which is what I'm pointing on here. I'm clicking on it here. So this is how it looks like. This is going to come with your initial update. The rest I'm going to show you later. Everything you see here, all this up here, these are all different translations. These are all different translations, but it is something that you add on which I'm going to show you step by step as to how to use it. Very cool. <laughs> it just, you know, dropped in my spirit the other day. I'm like, why wouldn't I share? I know some of you out there are already using uh, Bible software, but I want to share with you the way I study and the way it helps me. You know, it, it is uh, time effective. It, it's going to help you not only to be effective, but to be very, very efficient, okay? So your first download uh, is going to look like this. This comes with your initial download. The old, what I call, which is known as the authorized uh, King, King James Version. And the, it's going to look like this. It comes with the, um, the Old Testament. Uh, you see the numbers here? Because I open up uh, uh, the New Testament, and you know that the New Testament is of Greek. And so the numbers here are Greek words. I'm going to show, I'm not going to go into this uh, this segment, but I'm going to show you, uh, those of you who have some Bible college or seminary training, you know exactly what I'm talking about here. But this is going to look like. Uh, let me give you a typical example here. Say when you go to, you, you download, First, when you download this, it's known as eSword. On your computer, it's going to be known as eSword. On your phone, it is uh, uh, known as MySword. So when you say you go to Genesis, book of Genesis, you see I click on Genesis here, see the cursor, I place it on Genesis. So you say you click on Genesis chapter 1, you click on chapter 1 here, 
and you click on Genesis chapter one here in a box here. See all you have the numbers to say like in the beginning, the word beginning here, the Hebrew number give you uh, the Hebrew word, Rashid, the beginning. So it gives you all the meaning, say from the same as, then it gives you uh, the, the where it is coming from, the first, in place, time, order, rank, specifically. It gives you all that. We're gonna go into that later. So for instance, you, you want to look that up, then you say, you say in the beginning, God. You, you guys, those, those of you who know me, when I always talk about uh, uh, in Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, when the Bible says, in the beginning, God, the word God there in the Hebrew, which is here, is known as Elohim. This is how, even if you have some Bible training already, or you are in seminary, you still, you know, keep up with stuff. So here I always say this is plural, intensive, singular in meaning. And this is how uh, it all looks like. But this is just the introduction. I want to end this year. I don't want to make it too long. I'll be coming up with a, a series of this. I want you to refer your friends, especially ministers, pastors, bishops, and uh, uh, deacons and deaconesses and, and also uh, uh, Sunday school teachers. And we're going to go into uh, the entire commentary. Uh, to my right hand side here, up here, these are all commentary. When you come down here, these are dictionaries. Uh, and then there are other resources. You know, uh, so I want to end here. You know, I don't end my program without giving you an invitation. Do you know Christ as your Lord and Savior already? If you don't, this is the moment. This is the minute of your life. This is the every second of that minute of your life. This is the minute of every hour of your life. This is the hour, okay, of the day of your life. And this is the week of the month of your life. And this is the month in a year of your life. Why won't you embrace him? His arms are wide open, waiting for you, just like a prodigal son, okay? When the prodigal son left home, oh, daddy, is, which is us, daddy was looking always, when is my son going to return? He's waiting for you, okay? Renounce your sins, acknowledge him, exchange your filthiness for his righteousness. Exchange your every dark area of your life for his light, okay? Because the entrance of this world is light, all right? Well, why don't you share this video with your friends? Subscribe to it. Like it and don't forget to hit that notification bell. So whenever I upload new video, you would be aware of it. Till I talk to you again, I want you to be vigilant. Vigilant 